I did it again. I got into a situation where I got into a job that was much, much larger than the estimate that I gave to do the repair. So what we have is we've got two bikes with stuck seat posts and uh, stuck stems. I don't know how much footage I'm going to have of everything, but we're going to get a video going. I do have pretty good footage of this bike right here. Now, the seat post was stuck on, on this, and we'll see how that turns out, if there's any usable footage on that. Um, and then we had a really stuck stem on this. Um, while I was editing, I was working on my computer, and while I was working on my computer, I started seeing smoke. And whenever I looked down, my SD card uh, that I had a lot of my footage on was smoking and without even thinking I just grabbed that SD card and I pulled it out burning my fingers because it was that hot so I'm hoping that I've got some video of all of this so we're gonna find out now this bike didn't completely come out unscathed uh, the paint on this fork here did end up coming off because of the way I was uh, uh, working on this uh, bike I had some wood clamping on here uh, and the customer I told the customer that we probably needed to cut the stem and drive the stem out the uh, from the underside um, but he wanted me to uh, uh, to try to save everything save the stem and save the fork so this one took the prize of being the most difficult stem I've ever removed from a bike. It involved a forklift. It involved ratchet straps. And it involved a large vise and the help of my son. It was crazy. So I hope y'all find this video helpful and uh, let's get started. What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be getting the stem out of this frame. Now we're going to the extremes because we're going to be using a forklift, a nylon ratchet strap, and a big vise. Let's go ahead and get this thing out. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get this thing in the vise and I don't know if you can see the vise from here. You probably can. I'm going to need to enlist the help of my son. So uh, if you could come on over here cameraman we're going to turn this around this way can we not go forward anymore or down anymore i don't think so okay we're going to make this secure and then we're going to uh, reinforce this fork so we're going to put this rack piece on there, and that's going to really stiffen up the fork, allowing us to uh, give it the torque that we need. So we're going to clamp that in place, good and tight. Not that tight. Still not that tight. Okay, that'll really stiffen this thing up. And then, okay, so the whole idea is we're going to get this fork lift, we're going to drop it up here, and then we're going to get the forks way up there, and we're going to get a strap, strap it onto the stem and the fork itself, and then we're going to pull it up while I'm turning. All right. So now we have to get a forklift that I'm not qualified to drive and drive it over here. This is going to the extremes. <sighs> Choke on. Not dead yet. Thank you. 
Okay, pressure. Get this clip further down. Okay. Then we're going to tighten this up again. Dream. Notice it's getting a little shorter and a little shorter. It's because of the hydraulics. All right, here we go. Check the camera. See if you can see it. Uh, zoom out a little bit. Whatever you need to do to get some shots of this. One hour later.
stay right there. Okay. Doing okay up there, son? I guess. Oh man. Oh, man, this is kind of scary. Possibly, uh, possibly pretty dangerous. No, it's not dangerous. Because you're holding on to the forks there. Feel that. That's warm. It's very warm.
Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Whoo! That's hot! I am soaking wet. Let's see, we're in verse. Wow, that was a lot of work. All right, if you liked this video, please leave me a big thumbs up if you found this helpful. Uh, check out some of the other videos on the corner of the screen. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.